Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's time for another anime review. <laughs> Welcome back, guys. This is going to be on a retro anime, or really an anime that I consider retro. Uh, it's not that old, but it is considerably old compared to other series. Uh, this is 2015, so eight years old series. I haven't really heard much about it. Uh, so I was a little surprised on on hearing from the series. Um, but yeah, it, it, this one is called uh, Rampo Kitan Game of Laplace. Now, I will note a few things. One, this one was kind of added to Funimation not too long ago. And when I gave my first impression video, I remember going to my anime list, and this one had a rating of around a 5.8, I want to say. It's been maybe one or two weeks, and I'm going back to my anime list, and now it's standing at a 6.58. So I just want to kind of throw that out because obviously ratings went up, and that's because Crunchyroll added it from Funimation to their uh, list of animes. People are probably watching it now. And it shows that some people that are watching it eight years later are liking it better than the people that watched it maybe when it came out. So, um, yeah, before anything, guys, if you haven't done so by now, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Give some love by commenting, liking, and sharing. If you haven't done so, check out the description below where you guys can follow me on social media. You can also find a website where you guys can buy cheap anime and manga. So, do all that fun stuff. Subscribe, subscribe. There is a giveaway, I think, still happening right now. Um, so make sure you check it out as well. Okay, so Joshio is kind of framed into a crime in the first episode, which is quickly found out in episode two that it wasn't him. It was actually a fellow student who had fallen in love with the teacher. The teacher fell in love with Joshio, so the girl ended up killing the teacher. Um, this whole series follows Joshio Go 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 Kuru Go Kuru. Uh, I literally call him Agechi. Akechi. Akechi. Gosh, gosh. I can't say these Japanese names. Akechi. Uh, Akechi is also a fellow student who is a detective, full, full blown detective. So Joshio ends up uh, falling in love with his line of work and ends up helping him out. Um, Joshio has a friend, Hashiba, who is basically wants the best from him and is his best friend. Uh, in all this, there is uh, multiple cases around the city that are basically mimicking one specific killer who is the 20 face killer. And basically people are mimicking his kills and a lot of people are dying. And they have about three missions of finding people who are going out and killing people for whatever reason. Uh, ends up being random people. Well, not random people, but people you don't expect, uh, which have great twists and turns. And at the very end, we find out that uh, Agakichi, Agakichi uh, actually had a best friend who went insane, who is the original 20 Face. And there's a whole two or three episode arc on that involving Joshio basically agreeing with the old best friend who's killing people. Um, it's it's an intense series. Uh, definitely suspense, gore, psychological, and mystery. I would say four of those things are probably the best way to explain this series. Uh, like you said, in the middle chunk of the series after um, the beginning... Um, case of the teacher how he died how he was dismembered there's about two or three other um wondering things that are going on like for example there's a cop who basically turns into a dirty cop he starts killing uh certain criminals that are let free because of the laws in japan where if they are um found that they were not sane during the committed crime and they're let free. So there's a lot of people who are purposely drugging themselves, getting drunk or whatever, where they're not sane when they commit the crime, so they get free off the hook. So the cop doesn't like that. So he, he goes and ends up killing people, especially because one of these 
criminals had killed his sister. Um, there's another case where a girl ends up killing two guys that made this kind of theme park, and it was because she was being sexually abused. Um, there's um, uh, uh, other cases that they deal with throughout the series. But at the very end, like I said, the main dude en ends up being an old best friend of our Ayagachi, uh, who, who uh, was really holding out the secret from them. Um, I think this is where people dropped off or didn't like the ending so much because it got a little bit weird in the whole like people controlling cult vibe. We weren't really sure if like people were brainwashed or people were doing what they were doing on their own will. Um, it, it just got very confusing towards the end of is it a magical thing that he's doing or he's controlling him through computers or are people just agreeing with his way of thinking and because they agree with his way of thinking, they are just helping him out to commit the crimes that he was committing. So I think that's where people, whoever watched this uh, the first time got didn't like it. I think people that are rating it now are liking the more more of the middle part and beginning of the anime. So I can see where ratings can go one way or the other. So personally, I thought it was a great series. The ending was a little shaky, uh, although I know how it ended and I don't. I, I finally understood everything. There was still that confusion of the coat itself. So because of all that, I'm going to give this one a 7 out of 10. Could have been higher, but 7 out of 10 is nothing what it deserves. Uh, like I said, Crunchyroll raised its rating like almost a whole point in just a week or two. So I don't see this one going below a 6 anytime soon. Uh, so yeah, it, it's a fair rating. I, I think I think it's fair enough for, for where it is. Uh, it is 8 years older, so it, it kind of passed its time of people talking a lot about it. So. If you're looking for something that is psychological, this one's one for you. It does have some gore, so you have been warned. Uh, but yeah. Anyways, guys, that's everything I have for this series. Thank you guys so much for watching this. If you haven't done so by now, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Give some love by commenting, liking, and sharing. I will see you guys next time. Like always, don't be strangers. See you guys.